You know what pisses me off? It pisses me off that we're in a freaking generation where people can't even look at people in the eye. Younger, older, anything. They don't smile. They don't look at people in the eye. They really don't know how to communicate. And that right there is the quickest way to turn anyone on. Hey guys, what's going on? It's Andy. In this video, I want to talk to you about three things that every customer hates. This isn't going to be a long video. This is going to be a short, sweet, straight to the point. Make sure that you never miss a client, a customer again, miss, miss a sell again. And this video, if you really listen up, man, I mean, you'll be like, dude, like, I can't believe like this. This also is in reverse. When I go to buy something, like I hate it when I'm going to buy something and these things are happening on the other side when someone's selling me or when someone's helping me, okay? So it goes two ways. Number one, now you can be aware of like, yeah, dude, I, I actually don't like that. When I go to buy something, I can notice that. But then secondly, how can you sell more? How can you close more, right? How can you do more business, okay? So three things that turn off every customer and every customer hates. Number one, let's start it out right out the gate with the heater. Are you ready? Smell. It's very simple. If you smoke cigarettes, I'm out. Dude, if you smoke cigarettes, most people are gonna be out. Dude, no one knows what a smoker smells like, okay? Except for someone who doesn't smoke. Dude, smokers can't smell themselves. You've been smoking your whole life, you can't smell it, you don't know it stinks, it's disgusting. Are you ready? So I'm gonna give you a list of some stuff, are you okay? Number one, smoking, disgusting. Number two, bad breath. Dude, I'm not even joking, I'm not even I ain't even playing. I bought my wife a Ferrari and I walked away because the dude had the stinkiest breath I've ever smelled in my life. And I went and bought a 400 grand Ferrari from someone else because I couldn't stand the dude's breath. And I ain't being an asshole here. It was disgusting. It smelled like he was eating Copenhagen cigarettes and black coffee, four days old, and tuna fish sandwiches all in one. It was disgusting. So the way you smell, smells turn off everyone. Another deal, my wife hates the floral smell. What does that mean? That means she hates really, really strong perfumes. She hates it. She just, it gives her a headache. She hates it. It's, it's almost like I'm allergic to cats. I hate cats. I'm gonna be honest with you. Like if you're a cat lover, I'm sorry, nothing against you, but God made me to not be able to smell cats. Because when I smell cats, I can't breathe. My, my throat closes. So if you ever take me hostage and you want to kill me, just throw 19 cats in the van with you, okay? And I'll probably die. But I hate the smell of cats because I hate it. I'm allergic to a lot of different stuff. It smells. So my wife, she hates the perfume. So one of the things that turns clients off, okay, on a list of some of those things is the smell. The strong perfumes, right? Um, you know, it could be coffee stinky breath and by the way it's cool to drink coffee coffee's for closers but use some mouthwash brush your teeth afterwards what is that stuff that acts body spray that people put all over them like dude like i get it like it's cool like I, the commercials look cool them spraying it all on and it looks cool but it's disgusting it stinks okay no disrespect if you're an andy elliott fan and you're using axe body spray hey maybe you put on just enough and it doesn't give anybody a headache but i know some cats that might be holding that button down for 20 seconds and it is nasty it's like they took a bath in the axe body spray instead of taking a bath you guys get me so number one the way that you can turn clients off is the way that you smell all right guys number two you want to really just piss some people off you ready you want them to not like you at all you ready for the secret just get on your phone. The first time you get on your phone, it lets people know that their phone is more important than the conversation they're having with you. I know, you're like, damn, dude, I, I do that when I go home. Yeah, I know, your wife probably feels that way. Yeah, your kids probably feel that way. I know. Seriously, it's the truth. Hey, what, I'm saying what nobody wants to say, but I'm saying the truth? This channel's about the truth. You pull your phone out, it's disrespectful, okay? Don't pull your phone out. Dude, I'm telling you the, minute you, the minute you pull your phone out, I check out, okay? If I'm important, if you're gonna serve me, if you came here to help me, then help me, okay? But if you get on your phone, it shows me that you're digging for something that's more interesting in the conversation you're having with me. Does that make sense? So number two is easy. I don't need to go into this 
You already know what I mean, right? Number one, it's going to be smells. Number two is going to be the distraction of choosing your phone over your client. All right, and number three, we're gonna finish off with a quick one. And by the way, remember I told you this video wasn't gonna be long. I always say, you know, training, like sometimes I like to train for hours. Sometimes I'm looking for something to quick, chew on it, and then get on the day, right? Eye contact. Number three is eye contact. You know what pisses me off? It pisses me off that we're in a freaking generation where people can't even look at people in the eye. Younger, older, anything. They don't smile. They don't look at people in the eye. They really don't know how to communicate. And that right there is the quickest way to turn anyone off. I'm going to explain this to you. If you make me feel like I'm not important, then this isn't important what we're doing. Period. And how do I know what's important to you? By where your eyes go. Where your eyes go, your energy flows. Where your eye goes shows me what you're looking for, what's important to you. Okay? So like if you're looking at me and like you're interested in me and you're really intrigued with me and you really seem like you care about what I'm saying, then where will your eyes be? On me. And one of the first most irritating things that people see is that when they go to do business or talk to somebody, the biggest turnoff is like people not looking at you. Like, and by the way, when somebody says something like, you gotta, you gotta initiate back with them. Like, yeah, I know what you mean. Yeah, that makes sense. You know, but people don't do that anymore because people really aren't where they are. Guys, it's never been easier to win right now. I don't understand what it is, but when I was younger, I was 18 years old, I'm 44 right now, my manager said, success favors the prepared. Andy, that's the key. And if you can be prepared, you'll be massively successful. And so what do we do? We make sure we smell good, okay? We make sure that we have mouthwash. We make sure that, you know, we brush our teeth after lunch, even when we're at work. Like, 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 like be it attractive with your smell. Be attractive, okay? Better to smell like nothing than smell like something stinky. Because if it's stinky, people are gonna wanna be away from you, okay? If you follow these turnoffs, the eye contact, the getting on your phone, guys, I bet one of these you've thought about and you're like, dude, I don't like that either. Well, I know people every day, they stink, they get on their phone, and they don't look at people in the eyes. And these people wonder why they're not scaling, growing, and making more money, okay? Guys, I love you, I appreciate you. I like to share these little things with you. Look, how you do the little things is how you do the big things, okay? I get on here, I wanna share with you tactical negotiating skills and all that, and I know you want that, but dude, listen to me. If I taught you the tactical negotiating skills and you had stinky ass breath, you wouldn't close nothing anyway because they wouldn't even wanna hear you because you're running them off. And they're making up fake excuses. Like, I'm not even joking, like, I told you. Like, I didn't even buy my wife's Ferrari from the salesman that we were talking to. I went and bought it from someone else just because the guy's breath stink, okay? Like my wife, like she'll be like, uh, let's go let the dog out. Dude, what she's saying is I want to get the hell out of this. All because of something little. How you do the little things or how you do the big things and the little things matter. I always tell people if you want to make money, you, you better, if you want to make dollars, you better take care of pennies. So if you guys want to be able to do the big stuff, you got to be able to take care of this little stuff. And I've seen people, I see all these people, they want to do this big stuff and they don't take care of the little stuff. And by the way, if you're watching this, okay, I'm, I'm, I'm just a bank account of like information, like how to scale, how to grow, how to recreate, how to change your life, how to influence, how to persuade, how to build a brand, how to build a culture, how to build a team. You know, like I, I love this stuff. I eat, sleep, and breathe this stuff. If I can help you with something, there's something you're like, Andy, there's one thing that you could help me with that would help me scale to a whole new level. I would love to help coach you and push you and positively peer pressure you to become the person you're supposed to become. If you guys look down in the description box below, go to the bottom of this YouTube video, there's gonna be a description box. There's a little link, it says train with Andy, coach with Andy. If you just click on that, you'll answer seven, eight questions. It'll let me know who you are, what you do. It'll let me know a little bit about you and you know how long you've been following me, whether today's your first day or you've been with me for years. You, f you answer, you fill out your information, your name, your phone number, your email, and I will reach out to you in the next 24 hours. If you guys want to kill it, if you want to crush it, if you know you're capable of more, this is your opportunity. I hope this video helped. Maybe you saw something you need to change. Maybe you know someone with stinky breath and you need to send them this video, okay? Maybe you don't want to tell them and you're like, hey, watch the video, okay? And then I'll tell them. Is that cool? I love you guys. I'll see you in the next video. If you want to coach with me, click on the link below and I'll see you on the other side.